everyone, welcome back to the Teddy Breakfast Show. Brought to you by Promasino Nigeria Limited. Thank you, thank you guys. How are you guys doing? You're good? Thank you. Chief Dr. Kobams Asukwo, still in the house. Make some noise for this man. This is genius. This, this genius of a something. And uh, just in case you did not know, the beautiful lady to his right is known as Mrs. Ojuolakpe Kobams Asukwo. Yes, sir. <laughs> Kobams, before you greet them, I know they follow on a play. You people got married and you didn't invite me. Yes. How don't much fest. rice could I have eaten? Don't first, don't first. Eh? I saw it in the papers. I know, I know, I know. Um, we, we apologize I mean, to everybody who couldn't make it to our wedding. It was just, it was, it, it was planned, the, the plan was for it to be a small, okay. very small wedding. And um, we just wanted to celebrate life and celebrate God and just come out and then share the rest of our lives with you. So, I mean, hey, you have the rest of our lives to enjoy. Why are you complaining? Ah, <laughs> uh, comes, comes. Okay, so here we go. How do you see our set? Uh, your set is all right. It's all right. <laughs> it's all right. You're doing good. You're doing good. You have wonderful people. You guys are absolutely amazing. I like the way you clap. This man called Teju, I won't say he's wonderful because he's always putting me on the spot and putting me ah, in well. corners. What can I say? But, but, but it's all good. I love you anyway. But he's never refused me. Kobams has never refused me anything. Never. Never. Thanks, bro. <laughs> You've never refused me anything. Never. Okay. Except money. Except money. But I mean, when I ask you, I mean, I know I see you, Tebi. So, Kobams, you said the set is beautiful. Mm. How do you know? <laughs> how do I know? Yes. I'll ask me how I know my wife is beautiful. Uh -huh. I want to ask you. <laughs> you are the one that has dropped the gun. Uh -huh. In the movie Ray, mm. uh, Ray Charles used to feel women's hands. Mm. How do you know Joel is all, all, all of that stuff is not true, Jerry. It's, it's not just, true. Really? Yeah, it's, it's, it's sensationalized just to make the movie look great. I don't know. I guess, I guess beautiful things are not... Um, you don't behold beauty only by sight. And the eye of the beholder in the proverb that says beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder um, will be out of order when a man marries and appreciates a woman that is, um, on general terms, not beautiful. Because he still finds something beautiful in her. And it's not just in how she looks, her outward appearance. Um, a beautiful set is not just a look, it's the ambience. You know, you cannot put in an ugly set together and get a beautiful ambience out of this. You know, and the ambience more than just more than just seeing the ambience, you feel the ambience. Ambi and, you know, an ambience is created to be felt. You know, not just seen. You know, and that's what it is with beautiful people. You know, I'm I'm thankful to God that you know I met her the way I met her because I've come to realize that she is beautiful on the outside and on the inside, and that's something you know. Seeing sometimes can be um, a bit tricky and, well, treacherous to say the very least. Hey, mm. Kobe Ou, yes. clap for the man. Kobe Ou. Kobe Ou. Yes, sir. And, and I get you that what you've just said is that sometimes those of us who see place too much emphasis on what we, the outward appearance. And the outward appearance can change. An accident, an acid bath, anything mm. can happen mm. and it changes. Mm. 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 From now, I better close my eyes till I find a wife. <laughs> I'm closing my eyes. But come on, we can give you full reports. Your babe is hot. I know. That's just in case you don't know she's hot. And I'm very, very well informed. You are very well informed. Yeah, absolutely. But bow. Yes, sir. Come on, don't spoil it. Tete. Okay, cool. And you... So you do. No, no, I'm at the club. <laughs> Since yesterday. So, go, you, you absolutely have a sense of humor. Ali Baba said he saw you at Silverberg Galleria. And he said to you, Ah, Kobams, did you come to hear the movie? You know, yes. it's an Agbaya. I went to watch a movie and he said to me, Did you come to hear a movie? <laughs> and then I met him at a show where he said the same thing to me. And I got up and I said to him, Sir, uh, well, it's not me that said it, but my friends told me that um, different bands have been breaking up. I heard the Plantation Boys broke up. I heard some other bands in America broke up. And uh, they were like, it was not only musicians who have been breaking up, that... Uh, other groups have been breaking up too, and that a certain Ali Baba who used to lead uh, some 14 notorious people <laughs> <laughs> also broke into comedy, sir. I didn't say it, uh, 
I didn't say it. <laughs> but, but the thing is, you actually watch movies because you met my director, Mr. Tadio you know, And I love these movies. And you love these movies. Come Absolutely. on. Absolutely. You, you can actually enjoy a movie. Completely, from... yes. Really? Mm -hmm. Please explain. Um, movies, movies are created to be... I, I think the eyes are just... Um, what do I call them now? I think it's a medium. I think it's a... I think it's a tool. I think the aim of a movie is not for you to see it. I think the aim of a movie is for you to experience it and relate with it. Which is why we see all kinds of movies, but certain movies only appeal to us, depending on the levels of our taste. Shama. Yeah, so when you, when, you, when you watch a movie, you know, you don't see the dialogue, you hear it. Um, you don't see the soundtrack, you hear it. Absolutely. You don't see the emotions, you know, you hear it. You don't see the pain, you feel it. Absolutely. You know, there's so many things that you experience in a movie that is not just based on sight. Now, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not discrediting, I'm not discrediting sight. Sight's a wonderful thing. It is beautiful to see. It enhances what you take in as far as a movie is concerned. But you know, you can watch a movie while you're looking at it and you're just with somebody and you're not taking the movie in as much as if you were listening to that same movie and you're paying 100% attention. So what matters is the attention you pay to it. Absolutely. And I pay a lot of attention to, you know, the details, of, you know, in movies from the soundtrack, you know, to the dialogue, to, you know, the emotion, you know, the, the, the drama, you know, the personality, the character, and, you know, every actor or actress sort of carries in the movie. So I watch Absolutely. movies and I enjoy them. Cool, cool, cool. So here's what I want to know. Um, now, I, I read somewhere, is, is it because, um, you don't um, use your eyes. Does, does it make your other senses, especially your hearing, enhanced? Can you hear things? Because I see you balancing your equipment when you come in, and you're hearing things that I can't hear. Is that because you're a musician or because your ears have been tuned to pick stuff up? Um, I, I mean, I've, I've given my answer to several people, and they would say to me, well, you're saying it because it's you. But um, I think the truth is, whether or not you can see, right, it, it doesn't disturb you from paying attention to detail, you know. Paying attention to detail is something you can develop whether or not you see. You know, some of the best sound engineers in the world today are not blind, and their ears work perfectly well. So um, while it might sound very nice and very good, you know, on TV for me to say, oh, yes, I think my senses are enhanced when, well. to be honest with you, I think I make use of my senses a lot more. I make use of my other four senses because I rely on them. Now, um, I think that reliability is built. Um, I think. I use them to a level that other people probably would not use theirs. Not because they are incapable of, but because, you know, seeing does not necessitate you having to use your senses to that level. I think that is what it is for me. But I think God has given each and every one of us, blind or sighted, you know, an equal amount, an equal proportion of, um, you know, the levels of your senses. So I probably just exercise mine a bit more. doesn't mean that with practice you can't exercise yours to that same level. So Ted, you try close your eye for like one year. Like, <laughs> that kind of thing, you know? <laughs> you might just be like me. Comes. Okay, here yeah, goes. Were you, were you born, um, was this from birth? Was I born blind? Yes. Yeah, acting like a Nigerian, like, was, was this? This thing you now say condition. Sorry, come on. <laughs> Not because no. Say it. Was I born blind? <laughs> what did they do you? What, what did they worry you? Not the eyes. Friends, I have friends who come here. Hey, blind boy. <laughs> Not the eyes with the toxins. They talk like saying, I'm not in a soup. I'm not soup with the discourse. <laughs> but I say, were you born? Okay, were you born blind? Yes, of course I was born really? blind. Okay, so this is what I say. Uh, they, they say that you never miss what you never had. That's right? very true. They, they say that because, uh, they say people who get blind who used to have sight that it becomes so much harder than somebody who was born without because you never had it anyway. Yes. Is that true? It, it's a harrowing experience mm. when you have had sight and have to lose it. Um, for instance, people say to me, what you see right now is black. And I say, what I see right now is nothing. And they say, why? And I say, because for you to see black, yeah, you, you have to, black. exactly, you have to know what black is. You have to have seen black, recognized it. As when you lose sight, you can now know that, okay, maybe what you see right now is blackness, but in my color memory registration, there is no black. Do not try, do not try to comprehend what I see because you might diffuse something in your brain. I'm so it's complete, it's nothing. Because I, I wonder, I mean, I wonder a lot of times, 
I mean, I mean, but when when you when you when you when you have sight and you lose it, well, it's possible that you know you may see some kind of darkness because then you you have seen darkness. Mm -hmm. You recognize what darkness is. Okay. Mm, yeah. Oh, so that's I cool. So, I mean, do you have uh, do you have any um, perception or any uh, cognitive ability for colors? No, not at all. Not at all. Mm -hmm. So if I say Cobams, you're wearing a pink shirt, that means nothing to you. You tell me I'm wearing a blue shirt, red shirt, green shirt. No. It means nothing to you. But all that has changed. That is now. You know what I'm saying? Actually, <laughs> so I'm Did you hear her name? Oju Olape. Oju Olape. The eyes of words are correct. Cobams has eyes. Oju. Oju for mama. <laughs> all right, so now uh, I, I've, I've read Ray Charles from his uh, biography. Oju, this for you. Ray Charles from his biography. Loved women. Stevie Wonder <laughs> loves women. Does Cobams love them like that? Um, does he allow himself to be caught? Because he can't do the chasing. When they chase him, does he allow himself to be caught? No, he's he, he he's a very good man. He's he's a kind-hearted person to everybody. A uh, kind-hearted people chase women. Uh, <laughs> love me that one. Does he? The way you met him was Cobams on his game. Is he a player? He was after me. He was out. Now he be after you. Uh, you wicked, though. This mommy, they chase you up and down. <laughs> okay, chased I chased that for seven years. Yeah. Seven years? Yeah. We were friends, well, we've been friends for about ten years now. And for seven years, I chased, I can't even tell you the story now. Why are you? <laughs> I was so unhappy, it's my fault. No, it's not, just tell them. Well, you wicked, you girls can be wicked. Or you may J. Well, but. Oh, boy, Yoruba. Yes. I'm going to go to school, to Jadu school. Seven years. But ask him, he was dating other people. Ah, uh, bad guy, you have answered the question. You were great! You can't get chased! Bad guy! Bad guy! No, wait, 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 bad guy! Hey, hey, hey. This is TV. I was not dating them while I was chasing her. Yeah. Okay. I will come to her. Yeah. Have you agreed? Have you agreed? Have you agreed? No! I will turn around. <laughs> I will do my team, no! I was facing After a while. Dress, he was facing I will see women. Pepe, then I will come back. Have you agreed? Have you agreed? Have you agreed? No, no! I will turn around. I will go and do my team. Then one time I came out like, have you agreed? Have you agreed? She was like, no, I'm like, I could, could die here. <laughs> you know, sorry, Cobams, you know where? You know, I'm not before, but I just confirm again. Okay, so, Cobbs, uh, we're, we're rounding this up now because, I mean, it's a pad show. Cobbs, you're such a hot producer. You guys know that this uh, Cobbs produced Asha's breakout album? You know, all that, uh, yeah, the uh, fire on the mountaintop. And Cobams, you're still here. Nobody's tried to poach you from France, America, England to go. For... Why are you, you still here? How are you taking no? How are you still here? How are you taking no? So they don't try. So why are you still here? I'm here because um, it's hard to say it these days, and I don't. Many times here it's said among people my age, but I have a deep, genuine, sincere sense of love and respect for my country, regardless where we are. Cool. I love, I love, I love, I love Nigeria. I feel that sense of responsibility to contribute to the development of the entertainment industry in this country. People like Tadio Gidon and people like you and people like Alibaba were taken out to go and be doing Martin Lawrence and Eddie Murphy in another mass country. You know, we won't be where we are. There'll be no Teddy Babyface show. You know, there, there'll be none of that stuff. So Thank you, boss. That's why I'm here. Thanks, I'm, boss. I'm here for the same reason, you know, that you are here. You know, we, we have a calling. We, we Sorry, calling you, not the same reason. Tell before they give me this out. Not the same reason. <laughs> it's where we are travel. <laughs> but I go, I, I mean, I travel, I, I, I do, I work, you know, internationally. I travel out every now and again to do my work and I come back. And I get those offers sometimes. But I remember where I'm from and I remember the work that I have to do here. So that's absolutely nice. All right, um, Combs and um, Oju Olakwe. Sorry, Oju Olakwe, um, they say, uh, how old is Combs? Yes, yeah. It's okay. It's 30. How old are you? 20. She always forgets her age. 20, 20, <laughs> She's just 27. 27. <laughs> 27. All right, 30, 27. I'll be 28 next month. You're 28 next month. Yeah. Oh, that's very cool. Yes. And uh, you've been married for about six months and 21 days now. Yeah. All right, six months and 21 days. Ah. Uh, uh, yes, now. All right, so you didn't invite me. To your wedding, I'm not annoyed anymore. We've settled, but yeah, uh, yeah we've settled. But I love wedding cake. I absolutely love wedding cake. And since you didn't invite me to your wedding, I have a 
a something of sorts. When we come back, you'll see what I have. I must eat kobams and ojo a lacquer ah. cake. But I'm going to make it happen. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> As I was saying to you, Cobes here, my brother, and Oju here, uh, didn't, it was an oversight. I didn't get to go to their wedding, right? And I forgive you. I forgive you. But I love wedding cake. And it's actually their six month anniversary. You know, um, it's about six months and 21 days. But who is counting? Who is counting, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except Oju, like, we're going to help you if you forget the one year anniversary. <laughs> All right? So here we have a wedding cake for you. And oh, we're going to cut it. Thank and we're going to cut it with a toast. All right? So this is a happy anniversary. Cake. Thank All right, you. so Kobams, carry your glass. Wow. You when I say Kobams, carry your glass, I mean Oju, carry the glass for you. You understand this thing? All right, everybody, is your glass filled? All right. As we say when I MC weddings, charge up your glasses. And I, I, I'm going to give you a line that I use in weddings. Charge up your glasses. It doesn't matter what you use. A glass, a mug, a tumbler, a cup, a calabash, a gourd, a pot, a saucepan, a GP tank. Just carry something. <laughs> Have you filled it with something? <laughs> All right, everybody, please rise to your feet. Rise to your feet. We're going to toast to um, Cobes and Ujola. As you can see, I'm using the lawyer milk mug, and you know, it's me and lawyer milk. It's, it's all the way. All right, so we're going to toast. All right. So now, everybody, raise your glasses because you see, the toast, for those of you who are learning MC 101, the toast is always about the speech and the glass. All right, so let's see your glasses. Hi, please. Hi. The highest your hands can go. Some people never obey me. The higher you raise your hands, the higher God will raise you this year. Amen. Some of you are climbing your stools. Okay, here goes. All of us, please repeat after me. Everybody, repeat after me. For Kobams and Uju Olakwe. From us to you. For long life. Absolute happiness. The favor and protection of God. Billions of naira. Amen. Hundred houses worldwide. No EFCC. No. Twins. 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 Triplets. Twins. Quadruplets. Gossiplets. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> and God bless you. Amen. Now raise those glasses and now put your drinks down, Cobes and Uju. I want you to put your hand on that knife and at hip 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 hooray, your cuddy. So here goes. Hip hip! Hip hip! Hip hip hip! We'll be right back after this. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us. <laughs>